My name is Robert with Web Developer Ninja, and today I want to show you how to create a custom pipe in Angular, and we're also going to unit test that pipe. So I've got a empty Angular CLI project right here, and I'm basically just going to ng serve to get the uh, get the project going. And um, so what a pipe is 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 a way to transform data. Um, by doing something like this. Uh, let's say number pipe or um, number to weather pipe. All right, we'll just do number number to weather. Um, so basically, let's see what we got here. Uh, we're going to start by oh, not network um, just using that pipe we're gonna get an error error here that says number two weather uh, is not found I'm not even sure if that's how you spell weather but we're gonna go with it um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to use the angular CLI to ng g um, or generate so g for short pipe and we're gonna say number two weather and we're going to have a, a fake example and we're gonna say we work for weatherchannel.com and they um, send us data for the weather in terms of numbers so like one is gonna be snow two is gonna be sh sun like whatever we're just gonna map basically just gonna map numbers uh, to some arbitrary text values so the CLI just gave us this file as well as our spec file which is going to be um, for testing purposes and I also believe uh, so it did not oh yeah it did okay so in our declarations you can see we also have number two weather pipe um, so basically how a pipe works is um, we've got this import for pipe pipe transform this name here that's actually what we're going to use in the markup as our pipe um, and then basically down here we've got value and args. So all we're going to worry about is value. But basically when we're using this pipe, the value is going to be the pipe, the, the value that we're piping to it. So in this, this case is going to be title. Um, but it could be like an, in our case it's going to be number. But it's basically it's, a, it's the value that you're actually like piping through this guy. Um, so we're going to say, we're just going to do number one. They want to pipe it. Um, and right now we see nothing. If we come back to our weather pipe, you can see in our transform method, we're returning null. But see what happens right here when we return value. Basically, now you can see over the screen, we've got a, a value of one. Um, so basically what we're gonna wanna do here is, uh, see, I was gonna Google this. Uh, JavaScript. I missed the end. Basically, we're going to create a switch statement. I'm just going to steal this. Actually, I can copy it. It's a switch value. So we're going to switch over value. Um, then we're going to say case when value is zero. We're going to um, we're going to say value equals Snowy, snowy. Uh, and we're gonna say case of one. Um, we're gonna say value sunny, and then we're just gonna say break. So, uh, and then for default, we're going to say uh, value. I mean, we'll just do value because value. This is just arbitrary pointless code. Um, so basically, the value is going to come in. We're going to switch over it. If it's zero, we're going to set the value to snowy. If it's one, we're going to set it to sunny. And if the default value, we're just going to repass through the value. So save this. So you can see one, it changed from one to sunny. And if we change values in here, uh, it's going to change that way. And um, let's go ahead and show you, like, if we've got zero, pipe it through, that is snowy. 
So basically that's, that's how a, a pipe works. And now I'm going to show you how we're going to test it. So first what we're going to do is we're going to run ng, ng test. And that's going to fire up our Karma task runner and um, give us a browser and some good tools for testing. But the cool thing about Angular CLI is we now have a, a stubbed out test to start with, which is uh, definitely really, really helpful. Um, so let me grab this real quick. So this is firing up our browser. Let's see. Firing up three failed. So we actually have three that failed. Um, okay, so let's, we got a couple issues, I guess, debug. Um, so we've got app component. So app components having an issue. This is a good, good unit testing thing. So if we take a look at our app component, you can see that we're using this, this pipe here. Uh, in our app component spec file, we need to actually import that pipe and then give it to the test bed as a declaration. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, grab this. Uh, what is this call? Where are we at? Okay, so basically it's going to be number to weather dot pipe. Um, and then if you could take a look in here, uh, we've got a test bed and we have declarations, and that's where we're going to want to put our components dependencies that are either components, pipes, or directives as a dec declaration. If we had services, you, you would use providers, um, and there's some really good documentation on that. Okay, so now we have one failing test. Uh, we've got um, app works. So it looks like uh, the first initial test here is app. Let's remove this. Uh, we actually don't want this test. We, all we want to do is have it render. Um, these are the default tests that we already removed the H1 tags. All right, now we refresh this thing. All right, it's gonna refresh. Okay, perfect. Two two specs are passing, and now we have uh, a place where we can start. So, um, what I like to do is have a test that it should fail, just when I'm just starting, just like a sanity check. Check, and we're gonna say expect two to be three. So basically, um, now we know we have a failing test to start with, and um, it gives us a good place. And I always like, as I'm writing tests, I like seeing one that fails as I'm writing these. So now what we want to do is, if we look at our pipe again, we've got a couple cases. We've got a case where we can, it either goes in as zero, a one, or default. So how we're going to do that is we're gonna, let's check our, our zero case first. Let's say it should map zero to snowy. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to say expect pipe. Uh, we say expect pipe dot transform. Actually, this pipe needs to actually be in the describe block. So uh, we have access, access to it. So basically, uh, we're going to transform, and we're going to transform uh, 0. So we're going to expect pipe.transform0 to be snowy. We start this. And once this loads, you can you'll be able to see. Hopefully, we have one passing test. We do. Uh, and something I like to do when I'm doing these tests is if you click debug, uh, hit inspect, and go to console, um, you'll be able to see the successes. Uh, so you can see success app component should create the app. 
number token instantiates and map zero to snowy. So I'm actually gonna remove this. Um, now we're gonna say it should map one to sunny. And we're gonna say expect pipe dot transform one. We expect that to be sunny. Uh, refresh that. Now we should have all of our tests passing, and we will have five now, I believe. So this one on the debug, you actually do have to refresh it yourself. So something to keep in mind. Um, so you can see this is our first test we wrote. Success this is our second test we wrote. Um, and let's go back to our pipe. So we tested this this path of the code, this path of the code. Now we're going to test this path of the code. And that's going to be if we pass it any other value. So it should map, uh, uh, let's see, characters, numbers, or words other than 0 to or 1 to their default. That could be improved, but... We'll just kind of get this out there, and you want to have your tests like read as much, like you would normally speak in public, like actually speak as possible. It makes it easier. Something I'm still working on is readability in these tests. So this is a. We'll just do test, testy mic test. So expect that to be since it's default value. Steemic test. And a lot of times, like if I'm doing this for readability, I'll just say uh, let's text to transform equals test. And a lot of times, just using these variables, it makes it more clear as to what your intent, intent is. And it also makes it so you can update things easier later. So we'll see. See how this passes. And you can see we have a bunch of success tests for our pipe. Um, so that's just a, a quick, just basic scenario on how you'd use Jasmine to test a, a custom Angular pipe. Uh, I'm going to keep making videos like this, so if you want to learn more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.